Okay, so I wanted to create this quick little video. Um, a lot of you will know uh, from the local media that there's been a lot of reporting about apathy uh, amongst the town um, or between the town and the town council. Um, and you know, I've written about this and I happen to think um, that, you know, communication has come a long way in the last 10 to 20 years. Uh, and the way in which we communicate with our communities, with organisations and with the people around us that we know, even our families, is, is very different. Whereas we used to make a phone call or write a letter. Um, you know, nowadays we very much use email or Facebook or Twitter. And uh, what I wanted to do was just to put together a very, very quick video, um, really just to show Whitney Town Council how easy it is to open up another avenue of communication with the people of Whitney. You know, there's thousands of adults in Whitney and thousands of those adults use Facebook and have Facebook profiles. Um, and for the council to maybe have a page on Facebook would be very, very beneficial for them to be able to get feedback and suggestions uh, from local Whitney residents. So, um, you know, I guess I guess the council are going to say, you know, it's going to take a long time or a lot of time to maintain and to get back to people. And, um, you know, my argument to that would be it's going to take as long as it's going to take. It is an avenue of communication. It may be that you get a trickle of responses. It may be that you get hundreds of responses to a specific question that you're asking, whether it be over allotments or the corn exchange or whatever it may be. Um, but at the end of the day, a response to those suggestions, to those um, pieces of feedback from the community is the council's responsibility. At the end of the day, that's what they're there for. Um, so if it encourages more people to contact the council, uh, then I don't see how that could be detrimental uh, to the council in any way whatsoever, even if it does mean that it takes more time uh, for responses to be answered because at the end of the day that's part of their role. So without further ado, um, we're already a little while into this video but starting from now I just want to see how long it's going to take um, to, to make a Facebook page. So you can see here that I'm actually in my um, Facebook uh, thingy at the moment and in order to make a page, the best way I know how to do it is to go to a page which I've made before. Now, I don't think the council would have made pages before, so I'm just going to look down the bottom and see. And yes, there is. There's a create a page button there. What I'm actually going to do today is I'm going to create a page for my blog, which is called The Whitney Blogger. Um, I've been meaning to do this. The Whitney Blogger has only been going for about uh, six weeks or so now. Um, so I've been meaning to do this for a while. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, and, and as I'm doing it, obviously, the, the council will be able to see if this is going to be something which they're going to do to open up this a communication avenue with re, uh, local residents. They're going to be able to see just how quick um, and easy it is to do. So I'm going to click on create a page. And mine, no, I'm not a local business. Um, uh, I'm Mine is more of a community, a cause or a community. Um, I guess... The Whitney Town Council would be this one, organisational institution maybe. But I'm going to click on this one anyway. To be honest, all of the setups are, are pretty much the same. So, um, so yeah, join your fans on Facebook, a causal community. I think here what I'm going to be doing is putting in the name, which is the Whitney Blogger. And I'm going to agree. I've already read these. Uh, pretty straightforward, pretty standard. Um, and I'm going to click get started. Okay. And it's asking me for an image. Obviously, the council would upload their own logo. Uh, I have been playing around with a logo um, the last few days for this page. And it's that one there. And just waiting for that to upload. So that's all gone up absolutely perfectly. And I'm going to continue. Okay. Next, it asks me to invite friends. Um, I'm probably I'm not going to do that until I've actually set up the page because I, I really don't see the point of just inviting people 
to a page which um, doesn't really have any information on. So I'm going to go to basic info next. So my website is going to be this one here, which is whitneyblogger.wordpress.com. Uh, so I can put that into there. And I need to tell them about the website. And basically, I mean, that's it. Uh, you know, the Whitney Blogger is for openness, honesty, and full participatory democracy. Uh, I've put a little who's town, our town there as well. So I'm going to stick that up there for the moment, but as I say, I can come back and I can change that at any point. Um, so I'm going to continue there. And basically, I mean, it's only been a couple of minutes. Um, this is like the admin panel, so I'm just going to hide that for a second. This is what people are going to see. Um, it's been a couple of minutes and I've already made the page. I can now go around and um, to my arty farty little bits. Um, I'm going to upload a cover photo, which is the same image in the background, which I believe is that one. So I'll upload that now, and that will appear. So you've got, yeah, so basically, uh, you can see there's loads of images there of Whitney. Um, save changes. Yeah, let's save. <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, you can see the logo that I wanted there. I love Whitney Blogger, although that isn't the love symbol. Um, although some people believe that it is. And you can see that I've got this here, which is all different photos, a little bit grainy. So yeah, I'm going to change that eventually as well, uh, you know, to get it a little bit nicer. Um, and that's it. You know, I can write my first message. So welcome to the... Whitney Blogger Facebook page. I hope that you ooh, enjoy the experience. And, and it's just as easy as posting it. And there you go, there you have it. So it's as easy as that. Um, we're already set up, we're already going, everything's sorted. Um, you know, one thing I will say is the council, they do have uh, a very, very simplistic website. It's, it's not a great website, in my opinion. It's not really aesthetically pleasing. It's not a website that I would find myself using time and time again, because I really don't find it myself. I don't find it helpful. Um, but a suggestion that I would make is maybe if the, the council went over uh, and used WordPress like I do for this blog, uh, it's very, very simple. You don't just have to run your website like a blog. You can run it like a website. It's so simple. And then you can do really, really cool things like, um, you know, take your uh, take your Facebook page. Um, and if you go to the back end, this is this is what the back end of, um, of uh, WordPress looks like, whether it's hosted on their site or yours. Um, you've got these things called widgets and there's one here called Facebook like box which I'm going to pull up here and as I'm doing that what it's doing is it's changing the front end of the website um, so I need to do Facebook page URL paste that in there and um, I've, I've never really looked at this really um, but I'm just going to say uh, join us on Facebook like us on Facebook like us on Facebook so that's what I'm going to put there and da -da -da -da, works for Facebook pages, width, color scheme, light will do, uh, show faces, show stream. Um, no, I'm not going to show the stream. I'm just going to press save. And what we'll do is once that's all saved, we'll go to the home page again. And you see it's not, it's not here at the moment. Um, but if we click refresh, There you go, like us on Facebook. Um, it, to be honest, that's that's not in the best location. Uh, I want it really, maybe under categories, maybe above archives, so we can go back here, and I can move it. I'm gonna actually put it under, um, if it work. There you go. I'm gonna put it under recent posts. If I go back here and refresh, 
there you go like us on Facebook and it's there so basically all I would need to do if I wanted to like is I just click on there and it will say you like this um, and then what's going to happen here as well which will be really interesting is a bunch of people that have liked my page their image will be shown here just like mine is just there um, and that's really good because it just it just in it just increases the uh, communication with the council you know so when people go to the council website they'd be able to see oh yeah who's liking the council page and it may encourage them to like it too so that's my video there's the um, the Whitney blogger uh, page on Facebook which never existed a few minutes ago um, and it's also tied into my website now it's just here and um, yeah that's it basically so it's another um, it's another uh, avenue of communication now for people to communicate with the Whitney blogger and I would really really urge the council to do the same uh, over the next couple of days uh, to get themselves a, fa a Facebook page and to just increase that conversation between them and the people because after all it, it, the council is not the council's council it's the people's council